when I tell you that this is how my hyperpigmentation was looking two weeks ago, you will not believe it, but that's true. I'm going to be inserting the picture right here. So you can see what my face looks like two weeks before I started trying out this product. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, my name is Chioma. And welcome back to day 11 of Vlogmas, guys. How have you been enjoying the content that I've been dropping? Please, if you have been enjoying this content, and if you like this video that I'm filming right now, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me to know the kind of videos that you like me to put out on this channel. And if my voice is sounding very wonky, please just ignore it. The weather is getting to me. I told you guys that I hate this weather. When I say it's People don't even understand. The way I get sick during this weather is like, is unreal. So, I'm going to be talking about a product that has really, really, really helped my hyperpigmentation. If you know, if you're an OG subscriber, and before we continue, guys, guys, as I'm filming this video, we have hit over 2K subscribers. I am mind blown. I cannot even, <laughs> I can't even explain it. I don't know how it happened, but I am really, really, really grateful. If you have just subscribed to this channel or you see my face for the first time, please make sure you are a part of our family and make sure that you watch my videos. And when you watch, please make sure that you react, comment, like anything so that I will know that you're part of this family. So I will know you. So just like I said, today I'm going to be reviewing a product that I've been using for my hyperpigmentation. I'm going to insert a before and and two weeks after picture of when or before I started using this product and after I've been using it for two weeks and guys this is the product this is the ambifed cream I have been using this product for at least two weeks now at least two weeks plus and this product has really 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 improved my hyperpigmentation greatly when my hyperpigmentation has stressed me eh, like at a point I've already started getting comfortable like I've already started saying this hyperpigmentation maybe we just have to just stay with it maybe someday it's going to clear but guys I just said to try out this product and this product plus another face cream that I've also reviewed and I'm going to be linking it in this video has really 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 helped my hyperpigmentation so I'm going to be reviewing this product and I'm also going to tell you how you can use it because there's a way that you can use it and you will get your results like times 10 like you get your results times 10 and when you're using it the normal way so this is the ambi fade cream this this cream this fade cream contains hydroquinone yes i know that most people are not a fan of hydroquinone i've also made a video where i was talking about ingredients that really 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 help you to lighten your hyperpigmentation and i talked about hydroquinone and i say that in most countries hydroquinone is banned because of it's a bleaching agent so people tend to overuse it or misuse it and then they have problems but the way it is in this fade cream guys this really works and you can definitely use this for your hyperpigmentation without getting any issues there are two types to this it has the normal skin and has and it has the oily skin if you can see it very well this is it but me i use the oily skin because my skin is very oily the skin on my face is oily so this is and i'm going to be using it on just my face another thing i need to say is that guys i don't use this all over my face it contains just two percent hydroquinone so i need to put it out there i don't use this all over my face i just use this on the places that i have these black spots that is where i use it it also contains vitamin e and it contains alpha hydroxy acid the vitamin e it contains is also going to help to repair your skin it's also going to help to repair your skin greatly another thing that i need to put out there guys is that if you have freckles if you have freckles and you really love your freckles you don't want them to clear please don't use this because this is going to clear your freckles it's actually going to do that and i got this for around seven thousand seven five i think seven five ish i got this for around that price but some people sell it ten thousand some people sell nine thousand but i got this for seven five and it's it's um how many grams let me check it's 56 grams and this is going to last you for a long time this thing you're seeing here this small thing is going to last you for a long time and once you use this and it works for you you don't have to use it every day you just have to use it when you know that you have hyperpigmentation that you're trying to fade then you use it and then you 
drop it and if you're wondering why i'm coming with my face like this is because i want to show you how i use this on my face i've not used it this morning because i want to show you if you're going to use this make sure that you're using a sunscreen very important if you're using a fade cream make sure that you're using a sunscreen so that your hyperpigmentations don't come back you have to protect your skin so as you're trying to fade those hyperpigmentations make sure that you're wearing sunscreen so that they don't come back or they don't even get Dark. you know and they said like they gave warnings to this product that they gave a warning to this product and they were like you might experience a mild skin irritation i didn't really experience that but our skins are different some people have more sensitive skin so if you know that you have more sensitive skin then you need to be careful and you need to use it sparingly like you use it like in little amounts you don't have to use so much and if you're below if you have a child below 12 years or you're below 12 years please do not use this unless a doctor has recommended this for you Another thing guys that I'm going to say is that my hyperpigmentations have not totally faded but they have greatly improved, like they've greatly improved. That's one thing you need to know about hyperpigmentation, you need to take your time, you need to be patient with it because if you're really angry and you want it to go to and tomorrow, you're just, going to, you're, just going to get, you're just going to get yourself worked up because hyperpigmentation does not really go like that. It takes a while for your skin to either turn over or for the melanin transfer to be reduced or for it to, like, for it to be blocked entirely so it takes a while before hyperpigmentations can actually fade so don't expect it to be something that works overnight that's why i told you this is the result i've gotten after two weeks but i'm also going to continue using it for over months like months so i'll be able to fade those dark spots in my body so this is how i use it i'm going to show you now how i, how I use i use my fingers you can use a q-tip but when i mean q-tip guys if you notice that the lightning has changed it's because they just took the light nigeria my country but i don't i'm not going to on the gym right now i'm just going to show you first so guys you can either use your fingers or you can use a q-tip what i mean by q-tip is the cutting board the tip of your cutting board you can use that to spot treats that's what you do with this you just take it i have like this is this is the place that i have um hyperpigmentation i have hyperpigmentation here so i'll go in i go here and then i tap in i have parts here too some parts of my face here i have so i just apply i just spot it on those places there's one that i have here but it has completely faded and then there is here i'm just walking with my head guys i'm not even looking at at a mirror because i'm just walking with how i normally apply it so i'm just going to spot it on my face like this and this is what i do this is what I do like in the morning when I'm going like in the morning when I have somewhere to go that I cannot wait for this to just sink into my face. I just tap it in like on this place. I just tap it in and just blend it in on that particular place that I, I have hyperpigmentation. But in the nights when I'm free, I just take this thing and then I spot it on my face. The way I'm looking at it right now, I just spot it on those places that I have those dark spots that I'm trying to fade and then I just slide down and then this thing and I'm telling you after like an hour it's just going to sink into your skin and this is going to give you that results that you're looking for this particular part where you just actually just apply it and then leave it and then sleep off or leave it after after an hour it's going to just sink into your face just this and in the morning you wash off that is just it but in the mornings when I just have time unless you have the time or maybe you can try to wake up early just to apply this it will really really help you but for me i don't really have the time in the morning so in the morning i just apply it and then i just blend it in on that particular part of my face i just blend it in like that and then i'm good to go but in the night i just apply it i just spot it on my face after spotting it i just leave it and then maybe i sleep off and in the mornings i wash up but after an hour you will see it it will dissolve into your face and just enter those places and it's definitely going to help you to fade your hyperpigmentations so if you are struggling with hyperpigmentation and tropical you know there's another product that actually fades this hyperpigmentation very well which is tropicals faded is too expensive for you you can definitely get this you can definitely get this It's going to really 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 help you it has really helped my hyperpigmentation like it has given me hope that my hyperpigmentation is definitely going to fade like with time it just takes time and i have the time and i'm going to be patient with it and it's definitely going to help me and this is the morning so i'm just going to guys i'm just going to blend it right now because I need to apply my sunscreen and, and I need to move out. So I'm going to just blend it. You're not supposed to. I'm just going to blend it. I'm, I'm not working with a mirror. That's why it seems like if this is getting at 
all over my face is because I am not working with a mirror. But if I am working with a mirror and I'm looking at, me, at the mirror, guys, I just use my two fingers and I just dab in. Like, I just dab in the product on that part of my face that I'm trying to fade the dark spots. So after dabbing it in, that is it. Like, that is, that is it, that is it. And then I apply my sunscreen or in the night i just go to sleep but in the night i just i don't dab in the night i just allow it to just sink into my skin and that, i think that's what really worked for my hyperpigmentation so if you want to try this and i hope you find this tip very useful or if you've tried this this technique before just comment drop a comment down there in the comment section make sure you give this video a thumbs up guys subscribe to me if you haven't already and make sure that you come back to watch my videos next time bye guys